We are humbled by the support shown in the, at, at the moment, I've just put 25, but I think it will be much more than 25, because the government has refused uh, so far. We have not made an official announcement. But I think we just need to make some correction there. Probably, I think, 27 shouldn't be a problem. 28, no? Okay. Uh, uh, Dato Zaharin has told me that uh, PKR has won at least uh, nine state seats. We pledge that we will not disappoint the people of Penang. DAP wishes to state that we will form the next Penang State Government in cooperation and coalition with PKR. A government for all Malaysians embracing Malays, Chinese, Indians and other races. We stress that we will not rule alone but together with PKR. We also hope that the past elected Wakirayat can help this new government. We pledge that we will be fair, just, and not discriminate against anyone. We pledge that we will assist those in need. We pledge that we will give equal opportunity to the talented people of Penang to prosper and develop Penang. We pledge that we will form a government of unity, united by our common love for democracy that respects basic human rights, political equality and social economic justice. We, both PKR and DAP, won the elections by preaching love of democracy, peace and racial harmony. We want to turn a new chapter and urge everyone to respect the wishes of the people of Penang for a dynamic Penang that fulfills our aspirations and hope that Penang leads. <laughs> By putting democracy as a centerpiece of governance, we will consult with relevant groups and parties in Penang to get their inputs and views. We hope that the voters of Penang can be unite behind this government and give us the time, trust and opportunity to realise our promises made in our Penang State General Election Manifesto to make Penang dynamic again. This victory does not belong to both DAP and PKR, but to the people of Penang. <laughs> Penang has shown that we can lead the movement to change. We congratulate also Barisan National on their victories and hope that they will seriously play their role of a responsible and constructive opposition. We wish to thank our members and supporters for their tremendous efforts that we have succeeded after 41 years of effort to be able to finally form the government. We realise and accept the heavy burdens of governance upon us. To demonstrate our commitment to fulfil our responsibilities, we have directed all our supporters, not only in Penang, but also throughout the country, to stay calm and not organise any victory celebrations. Any victory celebrations organised in the country tonight is done without the approval and sanction of the DAP. So we urge, please go home, watch the results on television, even though they are late, but no victory celebrations. DAP will not hold any victory celebrations. 